federal and state investigators say they've broken up Colorado's biggest ever black market marijuana operation. 42 people have been arrested over the past three days. And that's following nearly two years of raids. Our Rick Salinger has covered many of those busts, and he joins us live at one of the homes identified in Denver. Rick? Well, Kelly, most of the grow houses were located in the suburbs, but this one was in the city. It was believed used to store marijuana. Some 66,000 plants were seized in this investigation. So much marijuana was taken from some of the homes, a garbage truck was needed to cart it all away. To be clear, these grows are not ones that were otherwise legal under state law. These are pure black market. The investigation has its roots back in 2007 when Dan Tang was arrested and pleaded guilty to money laundering charges. His restaurants were believed used for that purpose. He was not charged in this case. Now court documents reveal those indicted are named as tied to the Asian Pride Drug Trafficking Organization and what was called the Chinese Trafficking Organization. If you legalize marijuana and allow it to be grown in homes, this is what you can expect to happen. One of the homes was identified as a stash house and monitored around the clock with a camera mounted on a pole. Neighbors we spoke with had no idea there was a major drug investigation going on. I'm surprised. You know, I didn't have no idea that this was going on here. Because, you know, if it had been, I'm sure it would have called somebody. 247 warrants were executed, many in the Tollgate area near E-470 in Quincy. The homes were often identified through electricity usage. Denver's modern family suburbs turned into what prosecutors called the Green Brick Road. This has become the latest chapter in a series of stories that we have called the Pothouse Next Door. No one believes this is the end. Live in Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.